Hey guys, Mr. Gray3IS here and um, back with my Gray3IS. Today we're doing a cool video. We're installing the HPS uh, Turbo Muffler Delete or Turbo Resonator Delete. I've found that they're kind of interchangeable. Um, and there are a couple new things you might notice. Um, well, one, my car is on. Um, but number two, I have um, a new sticker for the stack. I finally have an Army Tricks uh, sticker um, to, you know, show off the exhaust a little bit more. <laughs> Why not? Um, and the other thing is, whoa, my roof is black. What? So I uh, wrapped my roof gloss black. And um, my first time wrapping a roof, I think I did a pretty decent job. Um and it's uh, wrapped all the way into uh, into the sunroof. Uh, and I also uh, made the uh, shark fin right there, carbon fiber, to match this uh, window spoiler. I think it looks pretty good. And those are the only two most recent modifications done, um, in, uh, except for the turbo muffler delete that's going to happen in just a moment. So I will get this video started off with um, some sound clips from the outside of how the stock, well, <laughs> stock turbo muffler sounds uh, with this HPS intake and then how it sounds with the HPS turbo muffler delete in addition to the HPS intake. So that's what you'll see in the rest of this video. Hope you enjoy. So luckily I have this... Uh handy dandy microphone so I'm going to uh, place it right by the intake uh, so we can get some perfect uh, perfect turbo noises so uh, let me hook it up and uh, I'll get the OEM not OEM I'll get the original noises before the turbo muffler delete <laughs> so I just played back the video. I have my Danny Danny mic right here. Oh, oh, I hope you just heard me. So yeah, I played back the video. Damn, that sounded good. So I am super curious to see how it's going to sound um, with the TMD Turbo Muffler Delete uh, by HPS installed. So, oh man, let's see. Well, since, uh, oh look at that little doggy right there. Since most of the installers of this TMD are going to be driving the Lexus, um, uh, I assume at least, um, I'm going to go ahead and do some driving clips of the um, sound without the TMD with just my HPS intake from in the cabin. So I'll go for a little drive. I found the best way to do that is to leave all the side windows up, open the sunroof, uh, in my case close my exhaust valve and just give it a little gas and hear it from the inside so we can get also a sound comparison from inside the cabin. So um, I'll catch you in just a second. All right, so we are on a safe road for testing now, um, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to show my dash and uh, hope it picks up some noises, so uh, I'll be quiet for this one. Okay, I'm not gonna hold my phone anymore because there was a cop, so I'll just give it a little a little flick so you can hear as well. It's pretty audible from inside the cabin, so I am super uh, curious to see how it's gonna sound with this TMD. Okay, so I'm not going to go too crazy in depth because this is a little bit of a process, but I will link the video by uh, HPS below. Um, on how to do all this. It's pretty simple, um, a little bit more difficult for me because you have to take the engine cover off and I have this strut bar in which I just took the first bolt out of. Um, so pretty much you're going to, you're going to take the engine cover off and you're evidently going to take that bolt off down there and this one right there and you're just gonna, you're gonna take this, this whole assembly off right there and just 
take it out like switch out the muffler uh, while that assembly is out because this little black assembly right here is not going to come out too easily with the angle it's at so you're pretty much just going to take these two tubes off and move them out the way and just take this heat shield off a little bit and take it out replace it and put it all back together so i'll kind of hop in here and there through the process and uh, kind of show you what i'm doing but there'll be a relatively in-depth video um, in the description that HPS posted about it. All right, I got my uh, Megan Raising strut bar off, and on the engine bay side of things, I am about to take my engine cover off, and I'll get back to you when I'm a little bit deeper into this project. <laughs> All right, with a little bit of finagling, I got um, this tube off right there. And um, this big black piece right here is what we're going to be replacing. I had to take that heat shield off, which was um, four bolts, one, two, three, four. Um, a little difficult, but nothing crazy. So yeah, I'll update you in just a moment. All right, quick update. I was able to get the two, let me see if it'll focus, the two nuts that go right there. And right there is a little bit of a tricky one um, yeah you might want a magnetic tool for that but now I'm just uh, loosening these uh, little clamps right here I'm gonna pull it right out okay I don't know my mic hooked up right now because my hands are dirty but oh my gosh with a good amount of finagling from this part right here it pops right out so this is what sits right there and this black piece right here you can see it has this baffle inside uh, this is what we're going to be replacing this black piece this metal piece is going right back in but as you can see um, these <laughs> three bolts would be uh, unreachable without taking this out so yeah we're gonna pop the new one on all right uh, so this is what came in the package we got some uh, nice stickers thank you HPS um, and this is the um, turbo muffler delete. All right, I have it out the package. And um, yes, this is what it looks like compared to the stock one. A little less restrictive <laughs> and a little more cooler too. So uh, what we're gonna do is pop these screws off using a 10 mil. You can use a socket and a wrench, but I conveniently have a 10 mil uh, ratcheting wrench, which will get into these spots quite nicely I hope I think we can we can figure something out maybe use this side or something but it's pretty tight so just be patient and uh, pop pop the three of these uh, nuts off or bolts bolt heads off um, if you're doing this at home so I popped it out with the three screws and ironically enough the one you could have hypothetically reached from the engine bay right here was the hardest to get out. So here's a better look. You can see there's this big baffle inside and um, pretty much we're just going to pop out this o-ring with this little tab and transfer it onto here and reinstall it. And just like that the new one's on with the new o-ring transferred. Uh, make sure you tighten these nuts to spec. Uh, that will be in the video that I linked below by HPS. And uh, it's looking cool. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, and I'll show you it next when it's back on the car. Whew. All right. So you ultimately just work in reverse. Put everything back on. So slide this part into the hose clamp first. Tighten everything back down there. Slide that in second. Um, put this heat shield back on. Put this line back on. Put the cover back on. And you're done. Um, most important step before you uh, just carry on and start zooming, which is, I want, which is what I want to start doing in a moment, is uh, start the car up. Obviously, listen for any uh, sound, feel for any uh, leaks that aren't uh, normal. <laughs> well, any air that's not supposed to be happening. So uh, I will do that in just a moment. All right, she started all back up, all buttoned up, and. Um, uh, everything seems fine. I don't see any leaks. Don't feel any leaks and it's already uh, a tiny bit louder from this end right here uh, So I'll update you with some uh, driving footage and uh, sound comparisons in a moment All right, so I'm going to um, Put the mic in the same spot and uh, rev it up a little bit and get some sound clips now that this beautiful 
um, turbo muffler delete is installed. Stay tuned. All right, what you just heard was the sound from outside in the engine bay. And uh, just like before, we'll get a clip from inside the cabin um, with some little driving footage. Um, as of right now, I can definitely tell from the outside and from the inside, it is louder. Um, uh, for I, I did take it on a little drive, came right back just to make sure there's no leaks so I could film the rest of this video. Um, so it is definitely louder, and I'll give you guys some real driving impressions, um, driving it uh, a little more aggressively here in a moment. All right, we are uh, back on the road, and um, we're gonna get some sound clips of how it sounds driving after the turbo muffler delete. So uh, I'm gonna shut myself up for a little bit, and um, I'm gonna do similar to the same clips as before. do this uh, last clip uh, but since we have it installed now I'm gonna floor it and see how it feels oh my gosh all right so it is it, it, I doubt it's placebo I, I really think in the lower end lower end of the rpms it feels more powerful uh, the boost does feel like it builds um, not only faster but well I guess this results in it building faster but it builds a little bit lower in the rpms in addition to higher in the rpms how it did before um, kind of give me a little boost right off the bat there um, and it usually just kind of takes that four cylinder and then incorporates the turbo later but in my opinion it, it feels like it it definitely did a difference um, in sound and in performance so that has been the installation and review really well half installation uh, of the hps turbo muffler delete let's get one more shot of it right there um i think it is definitely worth buying uh, the install not too difficult whatsoever uh, i did briefly go over it but i will definitely like always link everything in the description um, the video for install this product itself um, and everything else you see here it's perfectly uh able to be linked with this um, this is also a great product if you're interested in um, having some more turbo noise and uh, slight performance increase um, the HPS um, cold air intake is a great uh, item to pair with the HPS turbo muffler delete. Um, I'll also link this uh, strut bar in the description since I've mentioned it so much throughout this video. And um, overall, I think this was a pretty fun upgrade to do. And it kind of looks cool, even though it's kind of hidden behind the strut bar. Um, but I really think it, it did a difference with the sound definitely um with the performance it, it did as well so i appreciate you guys for watching um as always leave whatever comment you want if you want to hate on me <laughs> so be it put it in the comments because i want to hear it um if you have any questions comments uh anything put it in the comments uh if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if uh, you didn't like the video uh, you don't have to hit the thumbs down. Maybe let me know why you didn't like it in the comments. Um, and subscribe if uh, you want to see more content similar to this. Speaking of more content, in the very near future, I will uh, have a video, um, sort of an installation, not really a review, but uh, about something that has to do with this area. 
this area of the car. <laughs> a little teaser, so stay tuned for that. And I appreciate each and every one of you for watching and um, coming to this channel. As always, if you want to see some more inside clips of my car, hit me up on Instagram right here, gray3is. That's also my parked up front account. Um, and if you want to see more action of anything, just let me know. Uh, give me some ideas to make videos of. And I appreciate you guys. And this has been Mr. Gray3is. And I'll see you in the next video.